Good morning, YouTube. Hello, my name is Nono, and welcome back to the Madvent calendar. On this one, we're going to be playing Do They Know, which is slotted at day three. Uh, a simple search for firewood leads young Hollis to find something that was never meant to be found. This one feels like... This one, judging by the amount of names on that list, I feel like this one's going to be like an actual big experience. The last two experiences have been grand, but this one seems like it'll be... I don't know, just a little bit bigger. Maybe. There might have been a weird cut there, that's because the game kind of interacted with my recorder. So, sorry. Hello, Hollis? Hmm, yes, Papa? Oh good, you're awake. We have a busy day ahead of us. The... The man dig? Is that what that says? The man dig feast is upon us and we'll need your help around the village. Okay, Papa, I'll get ready. Make sure to dress warm, it's cold out there today. Oh god, I have to like literally turn myself to. Uh... Okay, F. Thick boots. These help me wade through deep snow thanks to how heavy they are. Okay. So C is how I return back to normal. This is fucking bizarre. Okay, pick up your coat. Large coat, heavy enough to cover my whole body, very comfy around the head. It's weird that I have to reset my head, and R's to look up. Pick up your gloves, help me find things buried in the thick snow while keeping my arms warm. And then C to reset my head. Leave your tent. Alright, let's go! This is weird! I've never had to use my mouse- I've never not had to use my mouse to look around. There you are, ready to go? Yes, Papa, I've been waiting for the festival all year. Well, it shouldn't be much longer now. Before we get things started, I'll need to attend to some of the preparations. Here, take stock of everything in this bag of goodies. Yup. Ah, it's heavy. Well there, careful now, right. I need you to put the candles and the lanterns, take the glider to young Fabio, take a cup to the chef Biakta, Bidica, so you can taste test his soup and make sure there's, that you deliver each of these gift boxes to all the villagers here before tonight's feast. Are you sure that coat is warm enough? Yes, Papa, I'm fine. All right, all right, remember, once we've emptied that bag, come and find me in front of the banquet hall, and I'll let you know if anything else needs doing. You know, off you go. Okay. Five gifts. These should be delivered to villagers who are standing outside their homes. Six candles. You should go inside the empty lanterns in the village. Plane kit. Uh, the younger kids will throw these so the heat from the fire pit makes them fly and spread the plant seeds inside. I should fill this cup up with, at the soup hut. God damn, there's so many goddamn fetch quests. Alright, so all the people that need gifts are standing outside their tent, so let's do that. For, actually, hang on. I have to look up. Is this one of the lanterns I need to use? No, it must not be. Alright, never mind. Let me snap my neck back down. You look like you need a gift. Yay, the glider! Oh, this is Fabio. Have you seen my doll? This is weird. I like this, though. This is very cute. This is very cute. What is that? I don't know what that is. Snap my neck back down. It doesn't matter. Which lanterns need the... Probably the ones that are not glowing. Like this one. Place... Yay! You know what? This is very holly jolly. I like this. It's a snowy Christmas. There's a little village out front. That looks like a polar bear. What the fuck are you people? Mr. and Mrs. Lauer, here are your gifts. Ah, so kind of you, young one. Hollis, was it? That's right, Mr. Lalo. Hope it's not too much trouble, but we actually have a gift that needs to be delivered as well. Oh yes, the family just across from us. Of course I will. Don't worry about it, Mr. Mrs. Lalo. I don't mind my asking what is it. It's a book full of stories and images passed down from our ancestors. You see, we don't have many festivals left between us. And we were thinking that their, their children would appreciate holding memories of the past just as we do, even if they aren't their own. It's a lovely gift. I'll be glad to deliver it for you. You have our thanks, Hollis. Their house is just off stars, so take care now. Cool, a storybook. Is this just going to be a gigantic fetch quest game? I mean, I'm fine with that, but, like, do we need to go in these tents? I don't think that would be very nice of me. Oh, yes, yeah, so just go inside the tent, throw a fucking book at him, and leave. What are you, Pearl from fucking Spongebob? Lipa, are you sure? Oh. I'll have to give a gift for you next time. So, for some reason, the family that I'm supposed to give the storybook to is not outside their home. So, I guess I'll have to come back to that one. I 
guess. I thought this was supposed to be a spooker. I thought this was supposed to be spookies. This is just really nice. This is really quaint. What the fuck are you, a nose pass? Mr. Hollows, we brought your own cup ready to say Oh, yeah, soup, 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 soup. Dude, I fucking love soup. Great, it's best served hot and fresh from my serving case here. Just reach inside and have a sip. Let me know what you think. Uh, where are you? Hmm, it's delicious, Caster. That's good to hear. I hope everyone feels the same. Last year's soup didn't go over quite so well. I'm sure they'll love it, Castor. I'll see you at the fire pit later. I've been helping my papa and I got a lot out tonight. Well, now, aren't you a busy one? See you later, then. Is that me sipping on soup? Soup is good for the soul. I don't give a shit who you are. If you have a bad soul, it's because you haven't eaten enough soup. Soup makes your life. It makes it a good one. Hello, Pearl from fucking... Uh, do a little thing. I couldn't thank you enough for your gift. Oh, you're back. All right. Oh, so this is like the middle of town. I need to get everybody here. Understandable. What the fuck are you, a little dooba? Uh, thank you. My... Doesn't the sky beam look simply spectacular tonight? It does brighten ever than last year, Harlow. You know, I would have sworn I saw a piece of it fall off earlier while I was tendering to these stables here. It came down like a shooting star. Everyone thinks I'm full of it, though, right? Oh, I don't know. Did a piece of a star fall down? I believe you. It's Christmas, dude. That'll be my Christmas gift to you. Belief. Candle and the lantern. This is kind of nice. I can play with one hand. Most of the games that I play with one hand involve something else. So this this one, this one takes the cake for sure. What is this? Uh, Rufus, I hope this helps. Gesturing, thank you, little one. You're very welcome. Are you feeling any better? Yes, a bit better. Run along now. Sickness will surely catch. Well, if you're sick, don't go into the middle of town. That's where the festival's gonna be. You're gonna get everybody sick, and then it'll be weird. Everybody's gonna get the Christmas fever if you go into the center of town. Many thanks. Mahala. Why does that sound familiar? Alright, this should be my last lantern, I think. I thought I saw... Like, another couple over here. But maybe I'm hallucinated that- No, there they are. There you are. Mr. Dollar, greetings again, Hollis. Uh, what have you, dear? This is a gift for Mr. and Mrs. Lalo from across the way. Oh, for us? And your children, too. They wanted to pass down what they learned throughout the old world so you could learn about it, too. Hope you like it. A book on the old world? Goodness, could we even accept such a gift? You're such... You're sure that they're okay with parting with something such as... Such importance? Certainly. Here you go. Incredible! Look at these... Look up, look like our gliders, only larger. You're right, we have to gather the kids and go through all this together after the feast. You have our deepest thanks, dear Hollis. Don't let us keep you. It's no trouble at all. See you at the festival. This is just really nice. When is it going to go bad? This is definitely building to be terrible. This is a heartful, it is a heartfelt community. I think I've... I'm going to go around and check lanterns again, but I think I've done everything I need to do. Because there's, no, there's nobody else standing outside their homes. I think I've gotten all the lanterns. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I tested the soup. It was very good. Chicken noodle for your soul. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's talk to Papa. Papa, the livers are all done. Are we ready to start? Not yet, Hollis. We need firewood for the pyre. The gatherer hasn't come back yet. Is everything all right? Actually, he never left. Mahala was too ill this year. Hollis, I've been doing some thinking. Would you be? Would you go get this year's firewood? Okay. Really? Go out of, of the woods all by myself? All by yourself? You keep growing faster than I can keep track. It's a great responsibility, and I know you can handle it. I would love to, Papa. But what about the head seer? You've already. We've already spoken, and they've given you their full support. The old gather hasn't been the same since the autumn winds came. A shame is what it is, but never mind that. There's a fire to be made. I won't let you down. Be careful, Hollis. Remember to keep inside of your brightest star to avoid getting lost. I love you. Love you too. Stop stalling. All right, all right. The woods aren't going anywhere. Here, best take that empty bag with you. Let's see if... Let's see you off through the gate. Oh, God. Good luck now, and be careful. Yes, Aphidra. Yes, we can look for your... Dolly Afira, but we can't be too long about this, Hollis. We'll be back soon with the firewood. Sorry about that, Hollis. You know how the young ones are with their little toys. 
My grandfather used to live in the Thos Wolves. I wonder if the old cabin is still there. Oh, look at that. The head seer made a right proper choice, but this one didn't, eh? My mom always loved these Thosoth Woods, but she was broken up when we had to leave. Said she was going against our ancestors' wishes. Well, Hollis, is it? Safe hat. It's quite soft. Oh, soft hat. It's quite soft. Well, now, Hollis, is it? That's right. Cool, snort. Right then, as the previous gatherer cough, let me get you a piece of advice. Keep to the path wherever it goes. Our ancestors tore up the ground when they used to live out there. Said the sail soil was sick. It's all cough, cough, loose now, like fresh snow. Only heavy steps in the wrong place, and you might slip underneath. Easy prey. Okay. So stick to the soft snow. What the fuck was that? Thin and fragile, should burn very quickly in the fire pit. What is going on? I hear screaming around me. Yeah, there's definitely screaming going on around me. Sturdy and tough, will this keep the fire pit burning long enough? Okay, I see now where the spooky comes in, but why... What is this? Sky piece. Someone said they saw this fall from the sky. I thought it would look more like a rock, but it doesn't. I don't... I don't feel very lucky. How many pieces of firewood do I need? Just for my own, like... And also, what in the ever-loving fuck is making that noise? It's getting darker. I don't like that it's getting darker. This is supposed to be a coming-of-age story! Not a death sentence! How f oh, the jolly music's gone too. Oh no. I don't like this anymore. Oh god, which way do I go? Oh, there's a stick right there. I guess I'll go this way. How many- how many- what- how much shit do I need? It hasn't really given me a number, has it? fuck is that? That's like a piece of bark. Oh wait, no. Tiny doll. The girl said this was her last doll looked like, but this can't be the same one, right? Oh, that's like a car or something. Am I gonna die out here? just realized how fucky wucky everything is out yonder. And I hear crying. There's no tears on Christmas. Didn't you ever watch The Grinch? Why am I doing this? Where am I going? Everything is getting darker. Oh, wait. What was that? I can't sprint. I tried to press shift and that's what came up. It is getting really dark. How much firewood do I need? Oh, perfect. I can't go anywhere. I would feel a little bit better about the situation I find myself in if... My dad told me how much firewood he needed me to gather. He didn't give me a number. I can't see two feet in front of me. I can't see anything. I can't see anything.
what? My things must have fallen out of my bag. Oh no, how am I going to... Wait, what's that beyond the... Why is it glowing? Oh my god, what the fuck did I fall into? I found a stick. What the fuck did I fall into? An alien tunnel of death? Am I gonna get eaten? There's another one of my sticks. At least I have one of my sticks back. Did my piece of sky fall out of my pack too? Because that was pretty cool. What is this? A thin yellow bowl. It's, it has the same ridge as my hat, but it doesn't look very stable. What? What the fuck is going on here? Okay, there's definitely something over there. I see it glowing. This is weird! This is super weird. I have nothing to say about this. I just don't want to get killed on Christmas. What the fuck are you? Pick up plane. It feels too heavy to throw across the fire pit. There's not even any seeds in this thing. Is there like a demon down here? There's another plane. How is all of this shit underneath a thick snow? There's another plane. Feels too heavy to throw across the fire. Doesn't have any seeds in it either. Is this the fucking jellyfish jamming factory that Mr. Krabs had? What the fuck is this building? Alright. This place, it feels somehow... You've officially started to creep me out. This was a Christmas tale, and now it's not. This this looks like a statue. That, that says ear. There's another plane. Heavy glider. There's another bowl. Thin yellow bowl. This is just... He must not. Is that a nuke? Why is there a fucking nuke outside? Oh, there's the doll. Another doll? Oh, I'm an idiot. Why am I. The reactor core! That way. That way is the way to salvation. Where the fuck am I? That hand, I wonder whose door this was meant for. Listen, man, I, I have no earthly idea. Am I, like, in a prison? What the fuck is this place? This is beyond bizarre. How have all these lanterns been burning for so long? Did my ancestors light them? Oh no, is this like a nuclear factory and these people are actually just like living, breathing descendants of the last human beings? Was I meant to come down here? What for? The people back home must probably be wondering where I am right now. No, I kind of have a feeling this was meant to be this way. They knew that they needed to sacrifice somebody to the reactor core, maybe? And you were the unlucky pick. You were growing up too fast, Hollis. You were growing up too fast. Why am I freaking myself out here? I'm the- I'm supposed to be this fucking kid. Okay, this door's open. This is weird. I'm definitely getting cancer. All these things look like presents back home. Did someone leave them here for me? I could never get them all back and open by myself. I don't think you want to open any of this shit. Oh, you mean those giant cubes over there. Okay, I see. Yeah, definitely don't want to open those cubes either. That door says death. The drawing on this door reminds me of that doll. Where the fuck am I now?
Oh. Okay. Monk chanting in my ear. Why are you doing that? Am I meant to be going someplace? Why do I have, like... It feels like there's eyes on the back of my ass right now. Do I just keep descending into the earth? Is that all this is? It definitely sounds like something's following me at the very least. I guess I'll just keep on walking. Oh, I'm sliding now. Is that the soup maker? Reach inside the box. That looks like one of those dolls. What does any of this do? I'm scared. I can't reach the... Wait, my arms are stuck. Help! Oh no. Oh no! Well, I'm dead. And then that was it. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for Do They Know on day three of the Madman calendar. Please tell me what you thought about this episode down in the comments below, and I will see all you know bros later. Peace for now. Bye!